I have a diamond key and I want to use it. Side note, I have 10 bunker master chests. All right, we're here in the diamond vault room. Is there anything that I want to hear the most? It's definitely the TNT Tina. I've heard rumors that you could get it from here. That would be obviously the most desired item. Fuck it. Can't confirm there. there's no TNT Tina on the wall. Big sad face, but it's all good. <laughs> I'll take that puppy. All right. <laughs> Let's do this. Yeah, okay, um, can't confirm. I got zero diamond keys. Let's be real here, guys. Everybody knows how goddamn good the reflux is. That's not what this video is about. I'm, I can work with that. All right, guys, so here today, we have none other than the Blood Star Beast. You get this from Evil Lilith and DLC4. We rolled it to get this uh, next to Max Shocks. So we have a Fire Old God, a Mind Sweep. Might switch that up to a Blast Master. I don't know. We got a Dog Company main. Also got a CMT. Here's our Demolition Woman tree, our Shield Retribution tree, and our Bottomless Max tree, along with our Bear Mother tree. All right, everybody. So they put it in the vending machine this week, and I got it from the Diamond Vault Room. Go figure. Anyways, I just want to say that it is literally. Uh, like I've been recording for like close to 50 minutes now and we're this is and we're just now getting to the actual main part of the video Which is the showcase for the blood starved beast. Yeah, um, yeah Hope everybody's having a great day out here. We're out here putting in that work with none other than pretty gosh darn good doll SMG that I somehow just let slip through my fingers and not done any sort of like showcase since like levels since the level cap right which at this point is you know pushing almost six months ago which is kind of crazy to think about if you think about it like that <laughs> this thing does have some built-in short fuse which is amazing I've had quite the amount of people you know be like yo bro you should uh you should go back to the blood star beast man you know what I'm saying I've been you know I've thought about it and then sure enough we got them in the vending machine so it's like bet I can go cop one and then I go to record this video and then of course one pops up in the in the vault room all right ladies and gentlemen valkyries do want that smoke and that stamina so what am i gonna do i'm gonna give it to him straight up this has got the built-in short fuse bro it's a starving beast brother man don't lie ladies and gentlemen we are on the bridge side of things and we're just gonna let this thing absolutely go to work put in the destruction and let my minesweepers do me wrong and do me dirty as they do so well <laughs> Now nah, I'll joke aside though, you already know we're in here to put that work today. We kind of playing a little bit more recently with some of the old gods, you know, taking it back. Dude, the old gods were like, you know, like considered the best shield for a long time. So yeah, we're just using, you know, using the fire old god because obviously we got things like soak the embers, fire in the skagden, big sexy surplus, all that good jazz. I mean, the big sexy surplus gives us gun damage. I mean, dude, we got a 90, we got like close to 100 mag. I, this one's a times two, so it's not, so it doesn't like chew through our mag nearly as much, which I, and I personally like a little bit more just for a little bit, uh, a little bit more upkeep, especially if you're using something like a blast master, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to reload. Plus in general on Moe's and some, you know, you ain't trying to reload like that. And uh, overall, dude, this thing just, it's just so good, dude. Guns that got built in short fuse are completely disgusting. It shoots very, very quick and we don't have any reload, like any bad recoil or anything crazy. Like the torrent can be a little bit, um, a little bit insane on the recoil, but I mean the Bloodstar Beast, bro, it's got that built in short fuse. So good, so good. Combine that with real short fuse, actual short fuse. I mean, dude, we just melt everything. I mean, we just, pff, I mean, we just, we're just incineration nation at this point. All right, ladies and gentlemen, in this video, you get not one, but two Wotan Schmotan Schmackdown of the Century kill. <laughs> Yeah, but we're here today with the Bloodstar Beast. I know we got a cryo, and I know that he does resist it, okay? I can see the resisting, okay? I don't care. We're gonna brute force it. The Bloodstar Beast is one of those guns I don't mind I can brute force stuff with. Whoa there, big guy. Whoa, Tom, my boy. You think you could just because you resist my cryo that you're built for the task at hand? Come on now, big guy. No way, Jose. You're not bugged. You can't jump. You're not made to handle that smoke, homie. You better have, or quote unquote, the better half. Let's be real here. You're no better. How many times have we reloaded in this video? At least with the Blood Star Beast. <laughs> I don't think we reloaded that much. We were able to do a very, very good job. Of saying, what can I say, bro? At times, too, just really does help with that mag upkeep with this weapon. Also, important to note that this thing does have penetrating projectiles. So, you know, penetration gang is on point with this thing. Very good, very good. All right, y'all. That is going to spell wrap of the video. Hope y'all enjoyed. My name's Cree, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.